all right boom what is up everybody it's me j-rod the filmmaker former film major frequent fighting gamer from philadelphia and we got some fighting games today i mean we've got fighting games all the time all right we've got our series that we do on this channel new main alert and new game alert the last one we did was a new main alert in street fighter 6 playing with ed that was only a couple of weeks ago uh still it was this month so it wasn't even a month ago now um and, and now we're back this is not a new main alert or a new game alert we are just going to be playing some sort of casual mortal kombat 1 today i actually had a different video scheduled for today it was supposed to be a first and final review and reaction for x-men 97 but i didn't realize until x-men 97 premiered that they were not dropping all the episodes for us to binge and they're dropping them one week at a time. So I'm still gonna do that first and final. I already have my first reaction recorded and I'm working on my final review now, but I wanna see the entire season before I give my final thoughts of the show. So that's pushed back, I think until May. It's, some, it's on my calendar. I did check out when the season finale is gonna drop, but whenever that show is done, then you can expect the first and final for X-Men 97. But what we're going to do today in this place is actually today, um, which is the day before you're watching this. This comes out Friday, but today's Thursday. They dropped a new Titan battle in Mortal Kombat 1, so we're going to get into it. I'm going to do it a couple times so I can get all of the skins for Lee May. And yeah, I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks. We're going to show off how to do it, how to get it done, and how to get all the skins. Um, Janet Cage dropped yesterday, if you want to see me play with Janet Cage. Um, I did an entire live stream yesterday playing online with Janet Cade, my first time ever. I'm, I'm going to play a little bit of Janet here today, but I'm not really going to get to showcase her that much because it's a Titan battle. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you guys what I do to, to beat the Titan battle. I've played every single Titan battle that they dropped before, but I never recorded a video for it. So I feel like, let's do it. Let's, let's change it up this time. I've already actually beat it twice. Um, on my Steam Deck, but then I was like, let's switch over to Xbox, let's make a video of it, and let's show off the skins. So if I switch over right now, boom, you guys can see. It, I have three skins, and I swear I only did it twice. So I think I should only have these two. I have no idea where this third one came from, Injustice. But this skin for Lee Mei, it's so good. I think, I think this is our best skin, and this skin over here costs money. I didn't pay any money for it. I just grinded it and got the free dragon crystals. But these are her two base skins. This one is fine. I'm kind of tired of her default. This one is okay. I like it. I do like this one. It has some cool colorways, but I, really, I feel like they could have did more to distinguish these two skins. And this one is fine. The only problem really is that she's bald underneath that do-rag. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh. She's bald! She's bald and she's torturing people who have hair! But this is definitely her best skin. It's her Order of Darkness skin. But if you don't know, the Order of Darkness is like, at the end of Mortal Kombat 1 story, there were all of the good uh, characters and then all of the evil characters. Order of Darkness is like what the evil characters will wear. And we have a bunch of those now for like, so this is Shao's Order of Darkness skin that came out during his titan battle um and then there's also a, a variation of this that i don't have that was in combat league season one one skin that i have all of the palettes for is lee Ma i mean is ashra's order of darkness skin as you can see here so these uh, which ones the blood skins which i guess they're on the bottom this one and this one, the blood skins came from that blood season of combat league. And then all the rest of these came from Lee May's Titan battle, which was the last Titan battle. Now the first one, I actually didn't even notice this, but the first one, Baraka, I did his Titan battle, but I didn't even know when it came out that you have to do the Titan battle a couple times over to get all the pallets. Didn't know that. So I only got two pallets for Baraka. One that, one from that season and one that just came out this season. So. I'm waiting for them to bring that Titan boss battle back so that I can do it and get all the other skins for it. But there's also Order of Darkness skins that just drop in the game randomly, like this one for Reptile was in Invasions mode. Kenshi's Order of Darkness skin was also in Invasions mode. 
it is this one the mohawk suit skin there's another variation of this that i'm grinding for now it's gonna take a little minute and also havoc so havoc's order of darkness skin i have a couple palettes for and i think he also has two uh two palettes of this in combat league right now let me check that real quick so yeah for elder god this season you can also get another palette of that uh order of darkness havoc skin i want to say that that's also tanya's order of darkness skin because it's brand new but i'm not sure i do want to get to grandmaster so i can get that skin but i just hate playing combat league so much either way we're gonna get into the titan boss battle i'm gonna show you guys how how to beat it what i usually do to beat it and then we'll see if we can get all of the skins unlocked and then we'll show them off at the end so right now i am playing with I was playing with Gears and Janet, but every time I hop back Janet on, it kind of resets my <laughs> my cameo. And Kano is, I guess, the default basic one, so it always resets me to Kano. All right, so I think I'm just gonna go in and do it again. Nothing changed. I'm going with all the same stuff that I had, all the same gear, the same relic, the same um, talisman. Empress Melina offered you a bright future. Now my talisman, all right, I got a really good talisman and I'll show you guys how it works. The talisman I have right now, I think it's, I customized it so it gives me health back and it gives me my entire health bar back on activation. So I, okay, I have a, also I have a hit of armor, so that's why it, that it hit me. So for this first one, you're just gonna wanna start doing combos. She has some armor, as you can see there, but you're just gonna wanna get rid of this health bar as fast as possible, because there are like four health bars. Nice. Do a basic combo. Incorporate Janet, just because. I, I wanna use more of Janet's stun double stand, so let's try some stuff. Let's let it fill up first. I think I might need full meter to do it. What? She didn't come out. She came out way late. How do I do the... Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Her shadow kick. But yeah, this first round is pretty simple. You can... Why do I keep missing that? You can have fun. Do your basic combos. Don't worry too much about your health unless it gets dangerously low. Oh, and also that move is unblockable, so. Eat, eat, eat. Your choice is either to eat it or try to like dodge it. Get about the way. All right, this first health bar is about gone. Big whiff by me. Okay, big whiff by her. Girl, get back over here. Oh my god. Alright, we got it. First health bar down. And I didn't have to recharge my health because we're still doing pretty good. Ooh, I even caught up on this. Oh god, it kind of is. <laughs> okay, so now she starts doing freaky stuff that she can't actually do in the game. Damn. Okay, nice. When it's high, you can neutral duck it. When it's low, you can jump over it. But if you get hit by one, you're probably gonna get hit by a couple of them. Okay, she's done. Whiff. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Sick. I be giving out advice here all right so you don't have to do what i'm doing and using a defensive talisman that just gives you health back you can go for an offensive one right and try to get damage on her also whatever she's armored hold on you're still gonna want to get damage on her god damn it even if you just have to like throw out a couple of uppercuts like that God damn it. Because either way, you got to get the health bars gone somehow, right? So if you have an offensive talisman that has meteors or lasers or something, 
You can use that. But if not, you just gotta go in and hit her with your hands. Whoa, what was that? Alright, we almost got her. Hold on. Fuck! Now we got another stage. I, I'm pretty sure there's four, so this is three out of four. Now she's gonna start doing some weird stuff. Oh, I forgot about this part. Okay, this is a survive. It's actually a little bit easier than they usually are. Oh shit. <laughs> you stand like right, damn it. You can stand right between them, but it's hard. All right, now I gotta get her armor off. Why she does shit like this? Bless a really long time. Don't worry about taking damage. You will take damage. Just get that armor off of her. Alright, now block. Oh, goddamn. That's why you're gonna want to block, but. I can't even jump from my own combo. All right, I need I need my health back now because it's getting dangerously low. So boom, recharge. Damn, I can't I can't down to her. Oh god. That was easy. Now she's gonna get big as hell. And she's gonna do all the same animations over again, but just big. So this one's not too hard, it just, uh, oh shit. I didn't know I could knock her out of that. They're really cool. You get like a firework explosion on every hit. Alright, watch this. Oh, shit. This is a pretty good run. Because usually the last stage is like their strongest one. And she really couldn't mess with me on that last stage. All right, let's try a um, a fatality. I have no idea if that's a requirement. Pull right down, down. But, fuck. There we go. Just in case, let's make sure we get a fatality now and get it out of the way. Is this the golden one? It looks like the golden one, right? Let's try Peacemaker and see if we can zone the boss battle out. Give me a week and I'll have pseudo pacified. Stay out of my city, Peacemaker. Oh. Ah. All right, let's get it. <laughs> Suck on that. Let's see if we can zone her out. Okay, good start. I mean, he has combos too, right? What are his combos? You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I've ever played with this uh, this combination of characters. Yeah. 
Oh, yes, I have. Okay. I'm starting to remember. It just has been a minute. So yeah, you can you can zone her out if you want to. And then you can do this. Keep zoning. Do this. Keep zoning. Seems like a pretty good strat. We just started, but it's looking effective. Wait, why didn't my talisman change? It's a good combo. I just rock with that. God damn it. Also, the AI, they don't block. I mean, they generally do block, but they don't block Peacemaker's unblockable, his grab string. So, this? I, the AI is almost never block that. Or duck it. Yeah. What? How did that... <laughs> How did that torpedo not kill? There we go. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So what you can do is... Hold on. Get over here. I'm low-key kind of bullying her. Let's put this on for now. Shit. Wait, wait, hold on. Alright, boom. Do that shit on. Hey, look. You put it on, and then you get all this damage. How did that not kill? It looks so funny just falling short of killing with that move. First, let's we'll do this. See, look at this. And then, when it's about. Oh, I couldn't use Sub Zero because he got hit. No, stop doing Sonic Boom. Do Force Field, you bum. Alright, there we go. I also wonder if Sonic Boom will, or Force Field works on this. Damn it. Oh, that does. Okay. So this does not protect you from her little ground spark thing. Oh, shit. Probably should have kept that. Okay. It's so funny. Hold on. Got her. <laughs> it's so funny when they start the animation and they're facing the wrong way. And you're just He's watching them. <laughs> Watch them go off the wrong way. All right, what do we get? Oh, a green one. Ah, this is going to be one of my ones, bro. I love green. That's going to be one of the ones. My current favorite uh, fit for Kenshi is his uh mint green suit that is my personal kenji skin right there sick all right we're gonna run it again but let's try it with the windbreaker talisman this time so this is the talisman i'm using smoke em. honestly it does have a hit it does like that uh smoke port smoke ball where they teleport and they fall from the sky it doesn't matter the health on activation is really why this thing is this thing is broken because I've been using it for the really, really high level towers in invasions mode. And some of these enemies have like 9,000 health. And you can't even physically get all that health off before the the timer runs out. Even Like they'll have 9,000 health and then it'll be a two stage boss battle. So if you get the 9,000 out 
all the health comes back, you have to do it again. This is basically like a cheat code. You wait until the timer is about to run out, you refill all your health, and then boom, you win because you have a higher percentage of health. Um, it doesn't work like that for the Titans because it's infinite time, you can't time out, but getting that health back is still really good. Also, it recharges every time you win with it. So if you use it once and you win, that one charge will just come back. Now, Windbreaker, this used to be the best talisman uh, just for damage. This used to be the best talisman to do Titan ba boss battle with, but this one no longer recharges automatically for winning. So you have to recharge it every time, but it's probably still the best as far as damage. Oh, maybe I can fart on her on here. God damn it. <laughs> okay, I can't. The answer is I can't. But there we go. Okay, well, that was easy. Unfortunately. That wasn't even the max damage you can get off of the fart cloud. What you want to do is put the cloud on them. They'll start taking damage over time. And then just hit them with like any basic jab string while they're in the fart and the the damage will just start to pile up like it'll there'll be the damage over time just slowly ticking down then there'll be these huge chunks for every time you hit them and it'll still tick down you can just take someone's entire life bar with the fart talisman it's kind of crazy whoa, 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 whoa man get back here in this fart there we go um I that damn near crashed the game. <laughs> Doing an auto fatality. Fatality. Can she wins? All right, let's see if we get another skin. We did. We got the silver. So all we need left is the gold, and I think in order to get the gold, usually you want to do a mirror match. Doesn't work. We got our health relic equipped, so we should be good on this one. But yeah, you can go in defensive, you can go in offensive. You won't replace me. I swear it. You want to make a nice Anything little uh, build for your guy. Will be mine. Damn, she talks crazy. How do I play Lee Mag again? This is one of the first characters I ever played in this game during the beta, but. Damn, it's been a long time, right? Okay. okay, that's her launcher. I don't think the robot is gonna let me get the launcher on her that much. And then what's the, um, okay, that's the overhead. Drop kick one. But honestly, I could just be shooting her down there, right? Easy first round. Oh shit, oh I forgot to have uh, <laughs> Sub-Zero. I don't think I can reflect those back with Matara. What is this reflect? Okay, that's a reflect. I'll try to reflect it back, but I don't think I can. <laughs> Not at all. What's her air one? Air that one, okay. Oh. 
jump in. Oh, shit, we didn't get in there fast enough, but... Counter, it still work. combo y'all. I just don't know what that do with. Oh, I do. Her um... Oh, okay, last. Come here, let's let me let me try my new combo on you. Actually okay, I needed a bar meter, now I got it. Girl get small, let me do my goddamn combo on you. Get small. Oh, <laughs> no. There we go. Uh, let's try a fatality. Just, just to be safe. Woo. Ah, come on, give me the gold one so that this can be our last one. got it we got it I, I believe this is it this is our eighth one we got all eight let's check out just to make sure two three four five six seven and eight so yeah you see how this one the yellow one and the gold one they are very similar it's so it was hard to tell but they are two different skins we got them all we did it Whew. it took a little bit longer than i expected we this was like an hour to get all of the skins but we got them now, man. And they look, I mean, sheesh. I mean, sheesh. Oh, this one? All right, this one's going to be my favorite, I'm pretty sure. Green, sheesh. To be honest, that's, I thought that's what she's going to be rocking from now on. The green thing. I mean, the other colors are nice. Red is really nice, and then this light blue one is really nice. I just feel like the green is, like, so different from all her other skins. Like, this green one just stands out from all the... Every single other skin is purple. But we did it, y'all. We showed off um, some of the different talismans. We showed off some of the different relics. We showed off some techniques for how to beat titan battle lee may and so hopefully y'all can take this and y'all can beat titan lee may yourself and then also if you did not do the ashra titan battle from last season it is here it's right here they always do two titan battles at a time it used to be ashra and shao um and now it is lee may and ashra for some reason they haven't bought the baraka one back since the first time i did it unless i missed it one time but i I swear they haven't bought it back. I'm just waiting for that. That's the last one I need to complete. But, so we got Smoke'em Talisman is what I was using. Honestly, you're going to want to look down at where it says bonuses. This one gives you 2,000 health on activation. That's why it's so good. Other than that, if you want a, an offensive talisman, one that does damage, Windbreaker does 3,000 damage on activation six max charges but it no longer automatically regens this one will automatically regen a charge after every match you win and then there's some other ones side those eyes that's just damage uh this one's a like cyrax bombs that's just damage so definitely try them out and if you don't have any uh talismans or relics you're gonna want to go to the collector who's actually not on this mesa <laughs> 
but collector is on every other mesa so and if y'all have any questions about the titan battles about invasions in general because i did beat all of invasions and i'm currently doing the uh go here to the gateway so yeah, if you need to find collector you can go to like a, the gateway tower he's right here you can go to any of the mesas have collector on it and they all sell different things but this one does sell um some talismans and some items and it refreshes every hour but this is what i've been grinding the seasonal tower that levels up every single time you beat it i'm on 79 right now um, I'm trying to get to 90 because at like 90 something there's another Kenshi skin So that's what I've been doing if you've been playing this and you're anywhere above like level 30 level 40 level 50 The Titan boss battle is gonna be easy. This is way harder and way more time-consuming than the Titan bosses, but um, if you want something to practice to test out your your talismans and stuff you can come to the seasonal tower and check it out it also gives you bonus skins that you can't get anywhere else but with all of that that was it for this one guys boom do me a favor hit me with the three hit combo hit the like button like reuse spear the subscribe button like scorpion and kick the notification bell like kazuya and also let me know how you feel about this video if you want me to do another one like it um i don't i play invasions mode a lot i just don't make content in invasions mode because i don't know if it's interesting to watch stuff like the titan boss battle is a lot more interesting than just me doing a normal tower or normal nodes and in invasions maybe i could do i'll do the titan boss battle again but maybe i can also do the final boss battle for invasions mode too for anyone having trouble with that this season's is what melina next season should be raiden so yeah, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns if you want me to do this again or if you don't want me to do this again. Just let me know down in the comments below. Check out my other videos. This week we dropped a lot of videos including Marvel Rivals was just revealed. It is a Marvel hero shooter that looks like Overwatch. Check out my reaction to that. I will link that below and add a card. Check out my Avatar The Last Airbender fighting game roster wish list from last week. Check out my Star Wars Acolyte trailer reaction from last week. And if you are a channel member, you can check out my Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League playthrough that is exclusively for channel members. The only way to watch it is to be a channel member. But if you are a channel member, go ahead and check that out. The full playthrough should be up by the weekend. The full play I already got most of the or uh, I got the first two episodes up. The full playthrough should be up soon. And if you want to join as a channel member, go down where the subscribe button is, look around where my name and my logo is. There should be a join button. And you can join either tier. We'll get you the bonus videos. If you want to play games with me or request games for me to play, the higher tier you can do that. Um, and what else? There's one other thing. Request games, request characters. Or if you yeah, if you want to play a game with me, against me in Mortal Kombat 1, Street Fighter 6, Tekken 8, or any of the hundreds of other games that I have, you can do that if you are a channel member at the highest tier. So that's going to be it for this one, you guys. I will see you next time in another new one. Tell me if you feel me, and peace out. Character, who do you guys think we should have in this as a guest character? I have been thinking about it, and while I didn't come to any conclusions, I think that one universe they could look for guest characters would definitely be The Dragon Prince on Netflix, which is another show made by uh, one of the Avatar The Last Airbender creators.